Uh, okay, y'all woke. Y'all woke. Okay. So, we, uh, repeat after me. Not one more. 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 And one time for the one time. One more time. Not one my son was standing on the driver's door. I was on the passenger side. And I'm in the car. Tevin's been down in the car talking to me, telling me what happened. And when this time, I heard some say, pop, pop. And I see Tevin's expression on his face. He had the cigarette in his hand and it dropped. And he did this. <gasps> and I looked and I said, you just shot my son. And he turned around and said, bam, bam, two more times in my son's heart, right in my oh, face. Oh, oh, and, uh, oh, oh, oh. That's unacceptable. I grabbed my son and I laid him in the back seat and I applied pressure to his heart. The first responders, the Los Angeles Police Department, the Sheriff Department, the Highway Patrol, our paramedics, the emergency room doctors, the emergency room nurses, the Los Angeles County Coroner's Office. These are the individuals who respond to a shooting taking place in our community. Because you stand with us, you know the pain, you know the feelings deep down in your stomach because you live it each and every day. You remember the knock on the door. You remember somebody telling you that your son or daughter is lying in the streets in a puddle of blood. You remember when the news came to your ears. How long must we endure the loss of loved ones due to gun violence in this community. Said God has a plan. Gun violence is not part of that plan. No mother should lose her son to gun violence because of the color of his shoes. No father should forbid his kids to sleep in beds because beds are above windowsill level and bullets fly past window sills. And no teenage girl should have to use the body of one of her classmates who just got shot to death to shield her from a gunman who was intent on shooting her classmates. But that happened in our country. Gun crime impacts each and every one of us, all of us, in lives lost, in opportunities wasted, and in fear in our communities. The ability for our kids to be able to prosper and simply be able to go to and from school without worried about being assaulted. We have too few deputies and too few officers to be able to be successful without the true partnerships from the communities that we're privileged to serve. We want to be your partner. We need to be your partner. So the tragedy I have before me is that these shoes should be mountains because then the world could see the tragedy that we have before us. We, uh, the shoes represent so many lives and so much tragedy and so many families that have been senselessly taken by gun violence. As a chief here for Los Angeles, our commitment every day for our men and women is to go out and to protect. But it is hard to protect our people, our communities, with so much guns, so much gun violence, and so many guns out there. As a country, as a nation, we must do better. We can do better. We must see these shoes. We must recognize and feel the loss. And I just also want to salute the, the cross-section, the incredible cross-section of organizations and individuals that are here. You know, we've heard from the police chief, uh, the command staff, uh, you, you've heard from the sheriff, you've heard from individuals who are committed, you've heard from community members, uh, individuals, uh, even our babies. Uh, everybody is out uh, here the, uh, this evening. But it's very clear that enough uh, is enough.